What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Wars Combination with the Infected. This is the Game Hunter channel. And I know we've been waiting for a new update. That's why I haven't recorded videos in a couple days. Also because I've been quite busy. Probably you guys know that, right? I mean, <laughs> if I'm posting a couple of videos a day, it's maybe because I'm quite busy. So, but anyway, the new patch got released a couple days ago. I think it was on October 30. Um, this is the better version 2.0 and they bring a lot of interesting interesting uh, additions to the game so we're gonna review those in this video real quick nothing too fancy first of all we have PvP now <laughs> isn't that awesome yeah th this game I mean I would love it I was enjoying the game a lot I was in touch with the developers, I was in touch with the, the community managers, I'm really, really happy with the game, but it was missing something. I, I knew that the, there was a piece that it was missing, this amazing game. Well, you got it, PvP, finally. So now we have a, it's a base in the system called ELO, I don't know if you guys are familiar, that's for people who plays chess probably they are familiar so they, they basically they're gonna uh, match people depending on the rating depending on the probably current level of the the teams and and the the current level that you are so well we'll see how that go matchmaking is something that is always always controversy no matter what in any esport is always a pain in the neck to find a way to keep everybody happy there is a lot of awesome games that are probably stop being successful just because of the way that they match in matchmaking um i will see this is something that really got me excited we're gonna try out of course in this video we're gonna probably go for a fight and see how the game looks like and they also add the the, the possibility to have a protection shield if you are being attacked Constantly, uh, you're gonna have a protecting shield like I'm in Clash of Clans and uh, Star Wars Commander, so that is good. That's good. Uh, games like um, Boom Beach, for example, they don't have protecting shield, and that is awful. That is really bad, especially with people who just start playing the game because you can get completely frustrated if you don't know how to start in the game, if you are complete, if you don't have any experience in this like a strategy combat games you can be really you can get really frustrated so i'm glad they had the the possibility of add the a shield protecting shield if you get attacked quite often so we have pvp and the other addition what i found actually really cool perks man now now your creatures have perks so let's take a look over here let me go to the team and then we go to the old units. So I'm going to show you. For example, my Dreadnought, which is level 7. Now, if you notice, I have a little insignia or medal on the side. That is the ranking of my unit. Right now, this one is level 7. And look at that. Now, beside the stats, we have the stats right now. And now we have also perks. And perks are going to be unlocked depending on the level of your creature. I'm going to talk creature because I'm, I'm playing with the infected and I believe I'm just going to continue recording the infected until they release the final game then probably going to have be playing both again I'm going to be recording both um, because the only problem that I have right now that I need to switch back and forth with the, between accounts um, in the same uh, iPad because I only have one key one better key but in the future, hopefully, well, when the game got released, I'm going to continue playing in both of my iPads and different one from the infected one with the survivors. So for now, I'm just going to continue recording video with infected. I know there's people recording survivors, so that's why I always like to be different. And we're going to go with the infected only. All right, so the perks, you see, the perks are going to be unlocked depending on the level of the creature. Right now we have the Dragnaut, which has the level 3 perk. Uh, it's a pop goats the human. 6% chance to deal 240% damage. That is that is awesome, man. That is awesome. And once you start leveling up your creature, you see you're going to be able to add uh, some other perks to your characters or infected. Uh, ripple effects attack affect an area. We got another one. Outburst occasionally increase damage by 40% for 5 seconds. And so and on and on and on. This is really cool. This is another another 
home run for the developers. I'm really happy that they add this. Um, actually, I was thinking about it. Um, when I was playing with the survivors, I thought for about it, well, it would be cool if uh, there is another way to uh, identify or make your units unique, right? Remember there was a bunch of like a different melee characters? Um, some of the melee characters were like a quite similar. Yeah, one probably one were able to stunt the enemy infected. Um, some other do extra damage or the area of effect is bigger. But uh, I really wanted to have something to make the unit completely unique. Something that can... Uh, you, you can see something, that, uh, a, a new attribute that you can unlock and make your units more and more cool, right? So uh, this is amazing. I really enjoy and I love the fact that they decide to add the perks. So now it's going to make the game even more amazing, see? So all the characters right now, there is a new artwork. I don't think that's, I think that Dr. Zombie Witch wasn't like this before, remember? I think the, the graphics were completely different. And I like that. It's a big improvement. Even the graphic in general, the graphics of all the zombies are different. They got improvement, not, not completely different, but you can see there is something different about it. Um, and like I said, you see when you check the perks, every creature had different levels and kind of perks, unique to their class. Okay, so well, let's see. I got a couple of interesting new units. I got the Patient Zero, which is a legendary. Uh, patient zero I thought it was similar to the infector apparently it's not so we're gonna try in action um, I thought it was uh, like I say like the infector there was in oh hold on a second let me put the infector in here okay the infector coming previous infector race phone no 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 infector hold on there's another one biohazard okay so I think it's an upgrade version of the biohazard because it has the same kind of attributes as increase the cloud which damage their enemy, enemy nearby enemies the cloud affect multiple targets simultaneously low health keeping safe in the horde let me see the patient zero yes exactly the same description so yeah this is probably an upgrade an evolved version of the of the biohazard so we're gonna start upgrading this guy because i think it's gonna be good especially because it's legendary so i'm not sure the the, the stat well right now is level one so I can't really compare it with the uh, my level seven biohazard but let me just double check real quick uh, deployment size three power fifteen health twenty four okay I'm just gonna see that so if I three eighty five of course of course there's a big difference it is a big big difference but it's because of the levels I'm gonna start upgrading my patient zero the other one that I have is the assassin the assassin is like a ninja um it's pretty cool pretty amazing because it doesn't get the tech unless i, I, I would it's in the steel mode until he attacks basically so i believe it's gonna be interesting to use this one to attack enemy snipers right and that's a it does a lot of damage very high damage but low health vulnerable once he attack and remember that the sniper cannot attack in close range so this unit is going to be critical and probably a sniper killer i like it. it's an epic creature that i have um mortician <laughs> mortician is the i think it's a upgrade version of the infector yes see because this one revive zombies okay bring back death mutant zombies to fight again resurrected can take time be sure protect him he has not attacked himself okay yes i believe it's a upgrade updated version of the of the infector mm, what else we have reanimator which also i believe is uh, an upgrade version of the of the infector I keep forgetting the name Oops, and uh, let's see what else. Well, we need to start sacrificing people because I need resources. I need to consume. I need DNA speeder. Let me get a couple of speeder. You're down. You're down. I'm gonna probably sacrifice another runner. I don't use runners. Brute. I don't need brutes. Stuntman. I'm uh, not using stuntman for now. I uh, sure. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why you come? Why you give me that warning? 
Uh, I don't like we give me a warning. Why give me a warning now, man? <laughs> give me a warning for any. Oh, I got the Titan. Titan probably is an upgrade version of the Colossus. So I'm gonna start leveling up all these guys because they're they're rare. So I'm sure the stats are superior to their previous and basic units. Uh, let me see. I, oh yeah, I'm already evolving something. Uh, ba -ba -ba, who this is oh patient zero. Perfect. Level two. Plus five power and health. And the stamina recharge. That's another cool thing. Once that you upgrade a unit, the stamina is gonna get recharged, so you'll be able to use it again. Let me start cooking or evolving somebody before we continue playing. Uh light the ninja. Oh no, Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff that I wanna start upgrading. I'll probably go once again with it. Patience zero. I'll stay more minutes. Okay, resources. Let me collect DNA, brains, of course. The research. I'm still waiting for the third level of the the flare. It's gonna increase the unit movement speed by fifty percent. And also, I got the previous one, which increased the flare duration for from six to seven seconds. It's really minimal but it makes a difference oh there's another one in here where is this spawn five level drawn from the ground cool okay that is new that's new okay this one is done okay 40 more hours again i'm gonna go for this one awesome drone geyser all right and if you want to join my 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 alliance my guild um like i said i won't be able to play that much now but now we're gonna start pushing words combination a lot uh, hey, we have a member, right? We have Enderfire. So the more people join the the game Hunter Infected, that's the name of the guild, the better. Oh, by the way, I, I heard that the game is also available for Android now. <laughs> Go to my Facebook page for more detail because I put the information in there. Um, the information is on the screen right now, facebook.com, the game hunter, that gaming, okay? Make sure that you go to this one because I create another one which is called the game hunter.com. I mean, the game hunter gaming in Espanol. That's going to be another page I'm going to have in Spanish. But the one that I'm going to keep more act up to date right now is going to be this one, the game hunter, that gaming, okay? So see you guys there. All right. Well, a lot of good information. I've been talking for a long time. So now let's go and. Um, Let's try this PvP. Let's see how we do. Okay. Havana fight. Okay, so this one. But uh, I mean the bronze league. The the of course the higher the level of your units. I mean the higher the your performance in the PvP arena, the higher you're gonna get into the leagues for better prices and tough battles. So we'll see. Let's see if we can get somebody. Uh, let me see, can I get it? Sun infected for my teammate? No, because I need more members on my guild. Come on, I need more members! Join the alliance, guys! Alright, so the current team power is 295. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, I got infectors, I got biohazard. Zombie with dreadnought. Uh, da -da -da -da. Deliver man. Okay, with the propane tanks and uh, let's go for it see that the required time 75 okay the minimum team power that you need is 75 to join the pvp and right now the price is going to be for oh, oh no yeah for 15 415 brains if i win 75 dna if i win which is good because i i, I want to find a way to collect more dna uh, i need more dna to continue evolving my troops so i believe pvp is going to allow us to to do them to grow up faster so let's get into action hopefully it's gonna be a an opponent that we're gonna be able to fight against oh my god this is not good this is not good to level 21 jesus Christ. i'm not gonna say jesus christ i'm sorry you know what i want to take a second to apologize uh, I know somebody was posted like a, I shouldn't be using Jesus Christ all the time, things like that. I don't do it on purpose. I don't do it in a bad way. Okay, I respect every religion and everything. So it's just just a phrase that I always say when I'm, I'm I'm too excited and stuff like that. Okay, so I don't 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 put it in the wrong way. Don't put it in the wrong perspective because that is not the case at all. Anyway, let's see let's see what they have. This guy has a bunch of. Uh, Gunslinger in here, a lot of. Ooh. 
fire guys so I don't see any snipers which is scary okay Star Wars Galactic Defense I'll be there in a few don't worry about it alright so we'll see how we're gonna do this this is my second time that I play PvP and it's, of course it's completely different because you play against people now so I'm gonna start deploying a bunch of zombies in here zombies over there too start to overrun gonna put any biohazard in there so it can start infecting the there you go gonna put one of these two speed on the back now that I got more of my troops in place I should be able to start moving zombie witch you come in the front I'm gonna put a puddler in the back really good against a uh, groups of uh, melee characters really really good okay we have more that we can deploy so let me put this in here I'm gonna put a deliver man so we can kill <laughs> nice that was perfect so we were able to take care of that big group of zombies without any any trouble another dragon from I'm gonna put a splitter in the back splitter in the back too I think we're in good shape I know biohazard uh, let's get the last group of uh, big guys in front yeah I think we I think we are okay <laughs> I think we are a successful first fight um nice that was pretty good then I won't say easy but I, I I believe that playing as a survivor is it's a little bit more complicated uh, than playing as um, infected okay Ooh, what do we got brute okay I'm gonna cook you my friend the brute let's go for another PvP fight right away to see what's going on okay uh, let's go for the same team it's doing okay Remember, you need to create a, an army that is bad. Oh, the team power is like 55. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is not going to work. This is not going to work for me. We're going to go for this. I don't care. I mean, we're just going to fight. That is that is not a problem. I'm just concerned how difficult is going to be this. Wow. Okay, so we got that. Paramedic, a uh, couple of firefighters in there. Outlaw, outlaw in there. Got one day, one of those girls with a shotgun. Two more firefighters. What else? I can probably stand from here and there. Is that a sniper? I think it's a sniper. I got a feeling it's a sniper. Of course, if I start from here, I'm gonna go for this corner. Trying to see all the weakest spots. Probably this one is another good spot to start attacking. Probably can put a big group of zombies in here. I'm gonna put an out biohazard in the middle so I can infect these disgusting human beings. So, who likes these disgusting humans? Okay, let me go. I'm gonna put a deliver man. Hopefully we'll be able to Ooh. Where you guys are going? Deliver man! Oh my god, that was that was bad, that was bad. That was bad, that was bad. I should be, be a little bit more careful. I wasn't sure what the hell I was doing in there. There you go. Just kill the paramedic, that's the last one in that area. Ooh, what happened in here? Those guys killed everything? Oh my god, really? The level of those troops is just ridiculous. They destroy me. <laughs> wow 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 that level of troops is just ridiculous well you saw the the different team power was mine was 395 his was 900 and something okay that's something that probably we need to cons we need to reanalyze analyze um that's a quick message to the developers because it's completely unfair i was supposed to beat this guy with a high level troops but well it's cool it, I, that's what I wanted to record this so I can show how matchmaking is actually running in the game 
And so far, he's doing okay. We'll see. We'll see. Like I say, this is... Uh, remember, the game is still in beta. That's what everybody needs to understand. When it's in beta, it's because they're testing stuff. That's why we need to be patient. We need to provide feedback and that kind of stuff. It's not the moment to be... Oh, my God, the game this, the game that. No, it's just the moment of uh, come up with ideas, come up with... Uh, test the game, any problem, any glitches. Just submit that information to the developers. Help them to make this game even better and that's what i'm gonna do of course i'm gonna try the game for a couple more days uh, with a new patch with a pvp uh, and then i'm gonna probably send an email to the uh, developers or the community managers to let them know what is my my opinion about the patch and everything okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're gonna do a lot more war combination in the future so don't forget to subscribe like share my videos and join my squad my guild, the game hunter infected. I'll see you guys there. Take it easy, everybody.